Welcome to day two. Today is the first active recovery day in our 12 week muscle gaining program. Now, as I stated earlier in the recovery overview video, this part of the process is just as important as the workouts, if not more important, because you're giving the body the chance to actually grow and repair before we break it down in the gym and grow and repair again. It's a cycle. It's just as important to get the recovery as it is to get the training in. So what does an active recovery day look like? If you see in the app, you'll notice that I put 30 minutes of light cardio in the app and in the workouts to do on your days off of the gym. This can be something as simple as a brisk walk outside, or for those of you living in the cold areas instead of Florida as I am, you can do very light walking on the treadmill on a moderate incline, you could do stationary biking, you could do the Stairmaster, swimming, anything that just gets you out and about and moving. For me personally, what I'm gonna do on every recovery day is get at least 30 minutes of walking or biking, just some simple, basic movement. And then I'm also gonna be focusing on stretching as I do tend to get tight and flexibility is a weakness for me. So today I'm going to be doing 30 minutes of walking outside while I train one of my clients over the phone. And then I'm going to be doing 20 minutes of stretching before bed. Regarding nutrition, that's gonna look exactly the same on your recovery days as it is on your training days. You're storing up glycogen on these days from the carbohydrates to use for your workouts the next day. This is your fuel. You're gonna still need the proteins and fats for muscle repair and growth as well. So it's important that you don't slack off on your meals here, keep them on point, and reap the rewards tomorrow with an excellent workout. As recovery days come up on this 12-week trainer, since we are doing daily videos, I'll be picking certain topics to cover throughout this series so that on our recovery days, we're still learning and getting good stuff that you can apply to your transformation throughout this program. So here's an example of what my stretching routine might look like. I'll pick five or so different exercises to focus on. This first one here, you just need a doorway, stretching out the chest and the front of the shoulders, which tend to be tight for me. Next, we move on to the lats. I'll just grab a doorknob or a door corner and stretch and pull the lats out and just relax into the stretch. My hamstrings and lower back definitely get tight, so this next stretch focuses on those. You can find a couch arm or a dresser, anything that allows you to prop the leg up and relax into a deep hamstring stretch. Don't force it. Just go to the point where you're able to relax and feel the tension release in the back of the legs, the glutes, and the lower back. My calves tend to be tight as well, so I make sure to stretch out my calves any time during the stretching routine. And then also my quads and hip flexors tend to get tight. So I'll do this stretch as well. I'll squeeze my glutes and drive the hips up towards the ceiling so that I get a deeper stretch across the quads and the hip flexors, and then I'll relax. So I'll hold it up at the top Your position for a five to count like PGM, and then relax right? down, do slowly underwear. working my arms back. So if you are signed up and following along, Feel free to reach out to me with any of your questions and I'll address them in a video coming up soon. All right, that does it for day two. I'm gonna show you a brief video of my personal stretching routine that I do in the evening. You can create your own based on what muscle groups are tight for you. Enjoy your recovery day and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three where we've got an all new intense workout. Let's do this.